All right, so let's have a look at uh, what we've got left to do in this Last of Us room scene. So we've got this carpet, and as you can see, uh, the carpet has some folds in it, like this. All right, and it's kind of wrinkled and stuff like that. So if you come over here to what I've got right here, you'll see that I've already got a carpet in it, and it's got some folds, and it's a, you know it's a different design than theirs, of course. Uh, this is something that I would have just found on the internet and and uh, and decided to use potentially anyhow and I've got all the other stuff in here and I've also I just did a, a little bit of work on this thing here is nothing much to it it's just a little like a cable receptacle or outlet or whatever you call that all right so we're going to talk a little bit about creating the carpet and then beyond that I've got the floor the walls to do and maybe some pieces of wood because I'm kind of interested in in uh, trying to do one of this you know this this kind of crack here in the wall maybe one over there all right so anyways what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new scene to create that carpet and I might just do it in blender itself as well uh, so I'll do that I'll put on my screencast keys although I don't know that they're really going to be necessary for this uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane for the floor and let's uh, scale it maybe three times and so that's going to be my collision object the floor and I'm going to duplicate this piece and scale it down and P to break it out and that's going to be my carpet okay so uh, we've got the carpet and we've got the floor now the carpet in order for it to work and I mean right now it's just a square right you could do it in any shape you can make it longer if you want uh, and uh, you know maybe I'll do maybe I'll scale it down a little bit and scale it in the Y just so it, maybe it seems a little bit more like a carpet what we need to do is we need to subdivide it so I just dropped an edge loop in there and I want these to be relatively square so I'm going to right click and choose subdivide and maybe I'll go let's try 20 and see and that might be all right so that's going to be my my carpet and this is my floor now to make this work I'm, uh, so there's different ways to do this of course you could sculpt it you could use you know the cloth brush um, I like to do it this way with um, cloth physics because it's non-destructive and you can change some things and I'll, I'll show you that um, yeah so all right, so I'm going to select the floor part there, my, and I'm going to come to the physics tab, and I'm going to choose collision. I'm just going to look down here, and for the moment, I'm going to leave all these as default. Let's select the, the, the carpet itself, and I'm going to choose cloth. And we could just try it. Let's just try it default and see. Now, if I just leave this at, at 250 frames, and I just press play, It'll come down, it'll hit, and it won't do anything. All right. So, and by the way, let's come over here and just look. Notice there's a modifier on there's the cloth uh, physics there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode of the carpet, and I'm just going to rotate it. And what you want to do if to, in order to get wrinkles is you want it to kind of come down and hit with an edge. So we're just going to try it like this. Okay. I'm going to come into the properties here. Let's try shear with one and not shear with one. Let's come down here. Let's put the quality at four and let's turn on self collisions. Let's just try that. Okay. And it's just a question uh, of getting the right angle for it to start getting some more deformations. See that? Now we're starting to get that kind of stuff. If I do it, it'll just eventually go flat. So you can keep playing with that, rotating it around and seeing if you start to get something that you like. And then of course you can scroll back and see, I'm going to shade smooth. And what I sometimes will do and it's relatively common is to put some objects in there so for example if I take a cylinder and let's uh, rotate Y90 scale that in the X and if I just uh, rotate that in the Z let's say actually let's do another one I'll rotate that I'll make it smaller 
and I want to join those to there. I want the collision on those as well. And we'll shade smooth that. Let's just give that a try. All right, so that, that, that falls on there and we get some more interesting folds. Okay, um, let's take this and let's increase the quality. Let's try 10 and see how it does. Now, if I was to take that and just isolate that, and let's go back to here, let's increase the subdivisions. Now we're starting to get an interesting effect. And what I'll do is I will just, uh, you can either move your carpet around and we'll try another one. Mm, that looks a little bit too staged there like that. So I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take the floor and actually just uh, I'm going to rotate that instead. That'll just rotate my the logs around. And actually, I think I'll just I'll do that. Let's see what we get with this. Okay, it's falling out right in the middle. So like I say, just trial and error. Uh, once you get an idea of what you're going for, it's, it becomes a little easier. But uh, let's try that. not too bad all right now one thing we haven't done is unwrap this so let's come over here and let's just you unwrap that and come over to the shading tab and give it a new texture and uh, with this selected i'm just going to press ctrl t and that gives me the uv to the mapping node to an image texture and let's load up something that we could try and you just find these on the internet let's try that one okay let's do that let's drag this is a PNG so let's drag the alpha down to alpha and then on the material tab let's change the blend mode to alpha clip so it looks like that so let's put that on here and we'll run the simulation again say we like that I just want to change on this material bring the roughness we'll bring the roughness all the way up let's just focus on that you know and there you know there's something you could do it until you're until you're happy and then once you have found a frame that you like you would come over here and you could apply the um, the cloth and it's done you've, you've now got it all right and there's your carpet and then you can do whatever else you may decide you want to come in here you can apply the subdivision or not turn on proportional editing and then grab one of these vertices and you know you can do this kind of thing you can make some changes uh, in this way and you know push it down if you want that kind of thing so you can do some final stuff but the other stuff was non-destructive you know because I, I did the simulation over and over until I liked what I got and that's basically what I did in my scene to create the carpet there and which may or may not stay I may may make some changes but anyways that's how you can uh, sort of fold a carpet just keep going add more objects if you want uh, until you get the desired uh, look then you just have to decide if you want to put some thickness on here or not as you know there are just a few other things that I need to do in the scene I'm gonna be working on either the floor or the walls next and uh, I'll show you how, to, how I'm gonna do that so thanks for watching tune in to uh, the coming videos to see how this whole thing comes together and uh, finalizes all right take care